Hawaii Attorney General Ann Lopez has released phase one of her investigation into the Lahaina wildfire disaster. It doesn't point fingers, but it does point out multiple failures along with tremendous heroism. Daryl Huff has the highlights from the report. Uh, traveling over a mile in about 90 minutes is incredibly fast. Piecing together police and fire videos, resident photos and interviews, the Fire Safety Research Institute developed a timeline beginning at just before 3 p.m. when it appears a morning fire caused by electrical lines that was thought extinguished is reignited by rising winds. Is there any way that those fires would not have been generated originally by the same fire? Um, I'm not going to get into whether or not it was the same. It was absolutely in the same area. The first engine reports the fire is just 100 feet across, but moving fast downhill. Five minutes later, a shed nearby catches fire, and firefighters order evacuation of the Hainan Luna neighborhood. Fifteen minutes later, burning debris flies over the firefighters all the way down to the Lahaina bypass. And 16 minutes later, a commander reports, yeah, we got multiple structures going. Meanwhile, Maui Emergency Management Director Herman Andaya on Oahu is told multiple people look overwhelmed. And Daya asked if he should come home and was told it may look okay. A minute later, Maui Electric tells the county the power is shut off, a message that doesn't seem to get down to those who are evacuating people and waiting for reassurance the lines are dead. Investigators still aren't satisfied. They have an explanation of that and other communication issues in Maui County. We have limited information from the EOC, from MEMA, um, but we do have some, and we have made multiple requests for that information. Officials are unaware the fires are spreading out as they approach the ocean and people are dying. The first fatality reported at 424 by an officer on Mill Street and just before 5 p.m. Front Street is burning. 43 minutes later, Andaya asked his EOC if homes were lost and they don't know. At 719, Andaya tells the state he believes only one business has been lost. I am not commenting at this time on the actions of anybody. The attorney general says this phase of the investigation was meant to generate facts and not blame or conclusions, except for this one. These folks risked their lives for hours, saving people and trying to prevent people from dying. Um, when you read it, it will, it will hit home very clearly that those firefighters and police officers are heroes. And as we mentioned, this is just phase one of the attorney general's report. She says that she is going to extend the contact and spend more than a million and a half dollars for the next phases.